Hi, welcome to an ESP32 tutorial from Robojax. My name is Ahmed Shamshiri. I'm presenting this tutorial from Canada. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can control a servo motor using ESP32 over Bluetooth, uh, where it, we, when you press a button, it goes from 0 to 180 and returns back. Hold on the screen. Or if you select mode 2, it goes from 180 to 0 and returns back to 180. I have a lot of videos related to the servo with Arduino Uno and ESP32. Uh, the link are below this video. You can control the servo with a push button, control it with Wi-Fi and with ESP32 and also <coughs> control it without Wi-Fi with ESP32 as well. The link for those videos are below this video. There are applications that you need to move servo for, a, for some applications to do certain tasks and return back. And I've written this code uh, for Arduino Uno. Also, I've used a library that was available and it was not working properly. So I made it uh, possible to work and without any conflict. So now this servo can move from uh, from here, let's say if this is 0, it goes from 0 to 180 and comes back. Or whatever angle between 0 and 180, you can set your minimum and maximum and it will go. Or it goes uh, in the opposite. You can set it that it can go from 180 to 0 and come back to 180, which you can select it from the code. And using a simple push button or simple touch on the screen, it can take that action. Let me briefly explain the servo motor. Servo motor is a type of motor that uh, the shaft can be controlled to move only 180 degrees or the half a cycle, half a circle, something like that. And then you can control precisely where it should be between 0 and 180 degrees. There are also other types of servo motors that, for example, there is something called continuous servo, which I have the link below it will rotate 360 degrees and you can control it uh, but these are the most common one and also you might get this type of servo motor which is very heavy with high torque it is the same way it can go 0 to 180 degrees and it will stop so this is MG966R version and this is the metal gear this is all metal and this is a plastic gear so this will be much cheaper like three or four or five times cheaper than this uh, but uh, in general this is the operation and you can control it so the servo motor has three wires the darker wire is the ground the five volts is always at the middle in case we you make mistake in terms of connection in rc or car or airplane so the middle is always five volts and this is a signal you might see it as a uh, black wire on this side, red is always red, and this side you might see white, but doesn't matter. So they are the same. Uh, uh, configuration is exactly the same, ground, 5 volts, and signal. Let me now explain the wiring. For, for the servo, I've connected here uh, male con uh, wires to the servo connector to this one, male to female connector. So these wires are here. The orange wire of the servo is connected here to pin 14. And if you have different module that says G14, still al also that is 14 and you can change it to any other pin you want and uh, this g uh, brown is ground I've connected to ground you can connect it to any other ground you want and then the middle wire is the 5 volts <coughs> so for the middle wire this is my external power I've connected the middle wire to the positive here this is the wire and then the ground is connected to one of the ground of the module
In order to start using ESP32 with Arduino IDE, you need to prepare Arduino IDE for that purpose. You will copy and paste it here. You see it says package ESP32index.json at the end. So once you paste it here, click OK, click OK. This is telling Arduino IDE where to get the board driver. Click on tools and then board, boards, board manager. And here, wait for this to complete at the bottom, this bar graph. And then type here ESP32. You see ESP32 by Espressive Systems. It says installed. In your case, it will not be installed. You will have install button here. Click on it and it will take maybe a few seconds or a minute. And the installation once is completed, click close. Now we have to tell Arduino IDE which board you're working with because the driver is ready. Click on tool, boards. This is Arduino IDE which you will usually work, but scroll down until you see a line below that. All of these are ESP32 and ESP32 rover module is the one that you click and select and the dot will appear. Now we have to select the port. For that, we have to find out which port we are using. Right click on the start menu, device manager, and you see port. Click on this arrow to collapse it. And mine is using COM port, Silicon Lab. If I disconnect it now, you will see that it will disappear, connecting it back. So this is COM6. Note that, click on tool, port, and you will see COM6 is already selected and now you can write your program and run it. Let me now explain the code. The first thing you need to do is download the ESP32 servo library. It was available from this address. I took it and I made some adjustments so it can work with ESP32. Download the zip file, save it in your computer. After that, click on Sketch, Include Library, and then Add .zip library. And from this PC, just point it to where you have saved it. For example, go to Downloads. And if this was your zip, select it and click Open. After that, copy and paste the code that I've provided. This is the code. This line, it says include servo underscore ESP32. This is part of the library. And in this line, static constant integer servo one pin. We are defining a pin. This is pin 19. Uh, it might be G19, so pin 19 or pin 14, whichever pin you prefer. And here we are creating from this class, we are creating an, ins an instance of it and we call it servo one. This is an object which we will refer to throughout the code. And here is the turn on character that we are turning on inside a single quotation. It's very important. I put A, so whatever character from keyboard you want, you can put it here. And with that character, the servo will be controlled. And here is the type one or two. Uh, if you select one, it will go from zero to 180 and come back. If you select two, it goes from 180 to zero and come back. But the upper and lower limit is defined below. It, it, it's not necessarily has to go from 0 to 180. It will go from uh, this minimum, angle minimum, to maximum. For example, you can set it from 90 to 180, or you set it from 0 to 90, or set it from 50 to 100, whatever you want, you can put. But there is one condition that the minimum value here, the value that you enter, must be smaller than this value. Otherwise, this code will not work. And here, servo angle, this is the angle that is holding the variable, uh, the value for the servo. And this is a step. If you set this 5, the value will change in a step of 5, 5, 10, to, uh, 15, 20, and so forth. If you put a 10, it goes an increment of 10. If you put a 20, whatever you want, so it will uh, affect the speed of servo and also the um, preciseness or resolution. So um, maybe if you, want, if you want it very precise, you can go even one, but it will take a little longer. 
and these values are used internally do not change them them button pushed when you push that button on the screen the value is stored here received character is the value that is received and it will be compared against and we use include bluetooth serial this is part of arduino and esp32 you don't need to download anything if you have enabled arduino ide with esp32 and this line checks if arduino if uh, bluetooth is enabled otherwise uh, you will get some error and here we are creating an instance of this and we call it serial bt or serial bluetooth inside the setup we initialize a serial monitor that can display the text for us then serial bt is where you initialize the serial monitor with dot begin and this is the name of the bluetooth device whatever name you type here you, you will see it on the uh, mobile device and this is just a text printing it here we use servo.attach servo pen for example pen 19 or 14 whatever pen you have so this will attach a servo to the pen with uh, the configuration and will make it ready and inside the loop we use serial bluetooth.read this will read whatever comes from bluetooth and we convert it this is called casting as a character make sure it's a character and we save it inside this variable called received car and here we check if received character is equal turn on turn on is the character that we defined at the top here with a so we check if it is equal turn on then we say button pushed equal one so this value is set to one and that's it so we can check later here we see if button pushed is true or equal one i could put equal equal one which will be extra so that's why i did not put it zero means false and one means true if this is true or it is one then we say get the angle and increment it with servo angle step <coughs> so the loop will continuously if it is pushed it will continue until it reaches from minimum to maximum <coughs> now at this stage because this is incrementing sometimes it will go above 180 or sometimes it goes below zero so we have to take care of it if servo angle is up, uh, equal or larger than the maximum that you set if your maximum is 180 then what we do is we get the servo and we reverse the direction this servo becomes negative now if you pay attention here this negative will go in the negative direction instead of increment it will, it will decrement and then if the type is equal one we set the push button equal zero in this case and this now this is the opposite here if the angle of the servo is smaller than minimum then we change the direction and if the type is two also we set it equal zero push button equal zero so the value cannot continue further these are the value that are printing on the bluetooth device bt and these are printing on the arduino ide serial monitor and this was if pushed is ended here and then because the servo angle is already updated then we use servo dot right servo angle this will move the servo continuously with a uh, delay of 20 seconds every angle increment of 10 or 20 whatever you have it will move and then it will stop once the value completed let's say from 0 to 180 when it goes to 0 180 and back 0 then push button is set to zero so this uh, is not updated any further and it will stop i'm on the um, google play store please type bluetooth serial terminal and download this yellow one with a yellow icon by kai morich and then install it once the installation is done open it make sure also that your bluetooth is connected and paired with your phone now this is now let me power this up so now i have to make sure my bluetooth is on i have to make sure my bluetooth is on and also from this gear sign go to devices bluetooth on it's on and come here and start searching and you will see ESP32 RoboJax touch it it says pairing and it will move in here now it has been paired now exit from here and then go to the app now this is the app 
go to the menu device and here ESP32 is already there and you will see here ESP32 DoboJax touch it until you see it is green so once you touch it it disappears on this screen from here you can connect and disconnect now it's disconnected and it says disconnected when you touch it is connected now these buttons will have no value I'm making this as move whatever you want I'm just touching it I'm just touching it and here just type move whatever you want and then here I just type A A is that, uh, the character that we are controlling and after that the app is ready now Bravo is connected with external power from here using external 5 volts and my Bluetooth is already connected uh, the first thing that I do is uh, I, I will open this one of the buttons just hold one of them in one m2 or m3 and once you hold it there you can type a word for example I typed it move and then for the value I typed a this is the value that I have defined in code when it receives the character a it will act so and then after that just press this so the button move is now working for me and if I now this is in type 1 it it went from 180 to 170 uh, to 0 and then back to 180 because I have defined the steps of 10 it goes with a step of 10 now let me try it again so from here it goes and returns back this way this point that I have applied some black color <coughs> now if I change the type to 2 and upload the code <coughs> now after uploading the code I will get connected here it is connected now the servo is in uh, some random place now it is here it goes here to 180 and comes back as you can see the last number is zero because it started from zero and then 0 10 20 30 40 up to 180 here and then 180 after that 70 60 back to zero now the resolution is 10 10 degree per step you can decrease or increase it Thank you for watching. This was how to control servo motors using ESP32 module with Bluetooth. If you learned something and found it useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it at the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. On. I have to make sure my Bluetooth is on and also from this gear sign go to devices, Bluetooth on